the main goal is just to get better every week, to learn every week, to never stop learning, to never stop trying to improve, um, whether it be me as a driver or us as a team or our cars or, or whatever it may be. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Go SoCal podcast. Today we have a very special guest, Stefan Parsons. Thank you again for being back uh, for another episode. Yeah, thanks for having me. I love being back here. It's a little bit different scenery since the last time we were, we did this. Yeah, we uh, last time you were here, you were here in what? March. March. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we uh, definitely upgraded a little bit since you were here. But uh, you know, new studio, new year. Mm-hmm. You know, so let's talk about you and let's talk about how uh, you you race this season mm-hmm. and how did that go this season. Oh, it went well. You know, we raced uh, we raced eleven times. Um, we had some, some good luck, some bad luck, but uh, overall, it was a really successful year for us. Um, we had some good runs, uh, especially towards the end of the year. We had, we really ran well at uh, different types of tracks, and um, recently, you know, we've been building towards uh, next year. You know, it's it's awesome that we're going to be full time uh, with SoCal on board next year. So. Um, we've been building towards that. We've been putting kind of the pieces of the puzzle together. So it's definitely been a good year. That's awesome. So what was one of the highlights you would say from this past season? So with COVID, NASCAR kind of went away from practice and qualifying. So um, basically the lineups were set by points and other sort of, uh, sorts of things like that. So um, there were a few races this year where we actually had qualifying again. And uh, there were, I think, three times uh, personally that – that I was racing that we went and uh, we had to qualify and it was a situation where if we um, if we weren't fast enough or we didn't qualify in a certain position we wouldn't have been able to race we would have gone home and and we were fortunate Charlotte Nashville in this past weekend at Phoenix uh, we were fortunate enough to make all three of those races so that was a definitely a high moment um, for us as a team Uh, making Daytona at the beginning of the year was a really good moment for our team because that's our our biggest race of the year. That's our first race that sets the tone for the rest of the season. So um, definitely some some great moments for sure. So obviously we probably had some challenges this season. Mm -hmm. So what was one of your biggest challenges from the season? Um, Probably one of the biggest challenges was um, not racing every weekend and having to go uh, weeks and months at a time without racing. And then um, for the most part, we don't have practice. We haven't had practice this year. So you know, you spend two or three months out of the car and then your first time back in it is when you take the green flag. So I'd say that was definitely a challenge. Um, our team, we, uh, we had some new cars this year that we had to, that we had to get right. We didn't have practice to kind of work on them. So, uh, just a learning curve for all of us, but, uh, overall, I think it was a really positive year, uh, for myself, for our team, for our sponsors, SoCal. Um, it was, uh, Definitely, and that's racing. You have highs and lows. You're going to have uh, um, your high moments and your low moments. It's the one thing about racing. You can be on uh, top of the world one week, and you can be at uh, on the, in the dirt the next week. So, um, But that's racing, and that's why, that's why we love it. So how do you feel like you've improved as a driver from when you started this season until mm-hmm. this past weekend when it ended? I'd probably say just kind of being aware of situations more. Um, I kind of – as a driver, got myself into a couple of bad positions um, in the first half of the year, just probably just trying to do too much, just trying to put too much on my shoulders, honestly, and, and trying to make stuff happen when um, it wasn't going to happen or, or it wasn't even necessary to make it happen. So I'd say learning that for me and learning um, just putting a whole race together. Uh, I think this year was the most I've raced uh, in a year in NASCAR since I began racing NASCAR in 2018. So um, every race, you learn something new. Every race is it, it has different challenges that um, that become apparent. So uh, just learning how to go with those challenges and how to uh, overcome them and just kind of execute um, a full race is something that um, I've worked on this year, and I feel like the, as a team we've been getting better at for sure. So, Stefan, you got the honor to become a full-time NASCAR driver for this upcoming season. How mm-hmm. do you feel about that? I'm, I honestly, I'm so excited. I can't contain my excitement. You know, ever since, ever since I can remember, ever since I was in diapers, this is always what I've wanted to do, and and I'm, I'm so thankful to to Mark and the whole SoCal team for for making it possible and and for believing in me and believing in our team. Uh, to make it happen and 
I'm just really excited. You know, we have a long winter ahead of us um, before we go to Daytona in February to put all the pieces together, get our cars built. You know, we've got some new equipment coming in, some new people. So I'm excited about that. And I'm just, I'm just excited to get to the race. I'm excited to get the racetrack, but I'm also excited over the winter to put the pieces to get, uh, get together and to work hard with our team and to get everything ready. So by the time we do get to the racetrack, we are uh, in the best position we can possibly be. During the off season, you mentioned like getting ready and all that. Like, what does that prep work look like? A lot of it now is um, some of the cars that we use this year that we're going to use next year. We're going to uh, tear them apart, um, take them apart, strip them, um, just clean them up, kind of uh, put some attention to detail in them, some things that we can do to make them better. Obviously, a whole year of racing on them, we kind of have notebooks on them now. So um, that, taking the cars apart, getting them put back together, bring some of our new equipment in and getting it um, ready and, and making sure that it's um, the best it can be. So, and, and that and, and personnel and, and little stuff like pit boxes, pit crews, haulers, getting everything organized. I mean, there's, there's really a lot that goes into it that we uh, have to do in the next couple of months, but uh, it's something that I know that we're all very excited about. So with this upcoming season, do you have like a, a- major arching goal I know probably to win every race is probably yeah. your ultimate goal but mm-hmm. like what is your personal goal for this upcoming season the main goal is just to get better every week to learn every week to never stop learning to never stop trying to improve um, whether it be me as a driver or us as a team or our cars or or whatever it may be um, I don't have a necessarily a position goal you know I, I know we would certainly as a team like to shoot for uh, for us like top 20 in points would be um, a big goal for us um, but as a driver, all you can do is, is keep trying to get better and keep trying to improve. And I'd say that's my biggest goal is you don't want to be complacent. You always want to be, stay hungry. You always want to try and, um, get better and improve. So I'd say that's probably the biggest goal. So Stephanie, you know, there's a lot of technology and cars are always changing and, mm-hmm. you know, new things are coming out for them. Where do you see the future as far as with technology in NASCAR? So the cup series, which is a level above, uh, the Xfinity Series, which is where we're going to be racing next year, they're actually going to a uh, new car next year. They're calling it the next gen car that is completely and radically different than um, basically anything that's ever been in NASCAR before. You know, it's going to have sequential uh, sequential gearbox. It's going to have um, uh, independent rear suspension. It's it's going to be a lot different. So I see the sport kind of moving in that direction. Um, more of a it's, they're also going to a single lug nut compared to five lug nuts on the wheels. So I see the sport moving in that direction. Um, maybe I could definitely see some sort of hybrid hybridization happening within the next five to 10 years too. I don't think we'll ever go like fully electric or anything like that, but I know that NASCAR is working hard to bring on, bring in new manufacturers and, and wanting to appeal to new manufacturers. So I think that's the direction that, um, that they believe is going to, Uh, make that happen the best and it's kind of interesting to see how that new car works out next year with new cars and when they come on obviously your pit crew has to learn how to you mentioned one lug nut versus Mm -hmm. the five and i'm assuming it's just your everybody has to be learn Mm -hmm. how to work with that Mm -hmm. so for us next finney series our cars are pretty much gonna be the same next year but for cup it's completely different so all the pit crews have to basically relearn how they've done pit stops for however long they've been doing it it's completely radically different um the, the setups are going to be completely different. There's the only, the only pieces that um, will go from the car that the Cup Series races now to the new car are the steering wheel, the seat, and the radiator. Oh, Those wow. are the only pieces. So um, it's, there's, there's a learning curve for, for every team, honestly, and it's going to be interesting to see um, who figures it out the quickest and uh, what that product is like. So, Stefan, let's step away from you as a NASCAR driver and talk about you as a, a, as a person. Mm-hmm. So is there anything new and exciting that's happened in your life since the last time you were here? As, as one-dimensional as it may sound, racing is my life. I, I, everything I do is, is based around racing somehow. Um, so I am really putting my full focus on um, preparing as much as I can as a driver for next year and helping our team prepare as much as I can. So... Um, Kind of a boring answer, probably, but you know, and, and but we'll do. I'll do probably do some stuff this winter. Like I'll go snowboarding or stuff like that. Just stuff around here. Go to Sugar Mountain or something like that up in Boone. So, um, but I know um, we have a lot of work ahead of us. So uh, I don't see like any vacations or anything crazy going on or anything that like, anything like that. 
Well, Stefan, thank you so much for joining us, and we wish you the absolute best of luck this upcoming season. I know I've never really been into racing, but mm-hmm. I watched last year some, and mm-hmm. it was really neat to be like, oh my gosh, I know him. Yeah. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. So I know I personally will be watching, so best of luck, and we can't wait to have you back on maybe the end of next season so we can re-talk again about your accomplishments. Yeah, thank you. I Again, I always love coming here, and I, uh, I look forward to coming back here soon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys for watching another episode of the Go So Cow podcast. Mm